Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel AI Motion Studio. Today, I'm excited to walk you through the latest update from Jasper AI, the brand new Flux.1 dev control net for upscaling images, which just dropped a couple of days ago. This control net is cutting edge because it was trained with a synthetic complex data degradation scheme. What does that mean exactly? Well, instead of just using real life images, they created artificially degraded versions combining several forms of degradation like Gaussian and Poisson noising, image blurring, and even JPEG compression. This model knows how to upscale your images by taking them from blurry, noisy, or compressed to high res perfection. In today's video, I'll walk you through the Flux Control Net upscaler workflow show you how to set it up, and give you tips to maximize your results. Whether you're restoring old photos or upscaling AI-generated images, this is a tool you don't want to miss. So if you're into AI-powered image enhancing and upscaling, this video is for you. So let's dive into this video. If you've been following our channel, you're probably aware that we previously introduced the Flux Dev 1 LoRa Upscaler. Well, in our latest release, we've updated that workflow and integrated the brand new Flux Control Net Upscaler. And so, where can you download the new workflow? Head over to civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio. There, you'll discover the Flux One Dev Control Net Upscaler workflow update. This workflow also features the Flux NF4, Flux LoRa, and Florence 2. So, grab version 1.5 for the new Control Net version, which also includes the LoRa version 1.0. Now let's dive into the workflow. First, let's take a look at the notes where you'll find all the links to download the necessary models. If you haven't already downloaded the ControlNet model, don't worry, just follow the links provided. For the LoRa model, make sure to save it in the LoRa's folder under Models. The ControlNet model goes into the ControlNet folder and the Upscaler model should be placed in the Upscale Models folder. Lastly, your base model, Flux NF4, will be saved in the Checkpoints folder. So make sure everything is in the right place before we jump into the workflow. Now let's dive into some image upscaling. We'll start by uploading a low quality, blurry image and see how well we can enhance it. First, let's zoom into the image to check out the original quality. It's not great, especially around the eyes, which are really low resolution. Now we upload the image and click Q prompt. This might take a little time, so just be patient. I'll speed up the process for you. And here's the result. It's incredible. The face is sharp, the eyes are now in high resolution, and the overall quality of the image is much improved. Next, let's try another example. This time, we've taken an image generated by Midjourney and compressed it down to 80%, so the quality is really poor. Everything is blurry, but let's see what happens after upscaling. We'll upload the image and click Q prompt again. I'll speed this up as well and wait for the result. And there you go. The upscaling turned out fantastic. You'd never guess the image was 80% compressed. Everything looks sharp. The eyes is really realistic. The fabric of her clothes and even the hat has detailed textures. It's a super impressive upscaled result. All right, moving on. If you prefer keeping grain in your image for a more natural, non-professional camera look, you can enable the Pro Post Film Grain node. I've bypassed it here so we can fully appreciate the quality of the upscaling. If you're not a fan of grain, you can bypass the node as well. Now, if you're working with a low-end GPU with low VRAM and encounter an out-of-memory error, we recommend bypassing the Apply Control Net and Load Control Net model nodes. This will allow you to use just the LoRa for upscaling, which still delivers excellent results. Lastly, if you're facing issues with the workflow or some nodes aren't working, no worries. Just head over to the Comfy UI Manager, click on Install Missing Custom Nodes, and hit the Install button. 
After that, make sure to update everything and restart ComfyUI. And there you have it, our complete walkthrough of the Flux.1 Dev Control Net Upscaler workflow. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.